Hey there, Free Girl fans! Have you been taking good care of your frame arm girls? On today's episode, we will be doing something a little bit different. And instead of covering a brand new FA girl, we will be covering her invaluable ally, Did you think it? Behind every successful FA girl is a loyal and hardworking Judenkun. The Judenkuns provide all the girls with all their essential support, from charging, weapons maintenance, to even some tender loving care. And like the FA girls, they seem to be self-aware too. Though, I wonder what they're thinking at times. Now, before you ask, you can't actually charge the Judenkun, so please don't try. But, he can do just about everything else. He may look a little stiff, but actually, he's got plenty of moves. Like the Afi girls, Judenkun comes with 3mm ports, so you can freely attach all sorts of MSG parts. Looks capable enough to protect a sleeping girl at least, right? And just like in the anime, the Judenkun can transform into a variety of modes. From a comfy bed, charging station, and even an armchair. He really is a friend to lean on. Hmm. Whenever I think about Judenkun, I can't help but think about Godai. But she doesn't usually come in her off-duty suit. So, as a little treat, I'm going to show you how to assemble casual Godai. First off, you will need the Architect and Innocentia. From the Architect, you will need the midriff and chest armor piece. You will need to remove the polycaps from the waist. The Innocentia will give you the rest. The arms, legs, upper body, and most importantly, her head. It should be quite straightforward after that. If you remember how to build your Effie girls, that is. And with that, you get casual good eye. Cute, right? Building custom Effie girls can be loads of fun, but getting the right color scheme can be a pain, especially when you don't have an airbrush. So we've gotten Kenny to show us how to paint the Judenkun using only markers and spray cans. So take it away, Kenny. Okay, thank you, Estelle. To get through, basically today I'm going to do a demonstration on spray can. So I got all these uh, Molotov spray cans, and they are supposed to be acrylic. And I also do a demonstration or with the markers. They are markers, okay. And my subject matter will be uh, Julian Kuhn. I have a rip prime, so uh, let's go straight into it. Yeah. So for spray can, uh, it's very similar to airbrushing. Uh, there's just three things you need to watch out. One is that. Um, you need to shape the content so you have to give it a good shape for 3 to 5 minutes for the content to be well mixed so that uh, you won't have any problem later so secondly is the control so I'm, what I'm talking about is the nozzle so when you depress right, you have to exert some control so um, the paint will be even and the flow will be good you see? and lastly uh, lastly will be the spraying distance so uh, the spraying distance is usually between 15 to 20 cm 20 cm being the optimal distance to spray Okay, any closer the paint will become very thick and then the surface will be very rough, so we need to watch out for that one. Okay, so we have painted most of the parts with the spray can, so the next step will be using markers. Uh. Uh, markers, I've been using markers on all the smaller parts that the spray can cannot reach. Uh, so for markers, uh, the tips are rather thick. So what I will do is that I will extract the paint and then put it on the paint dish. And then I will use a normal brush to apply that. So it's easier for, you, for me this way.
so I'm done with the Jinenku uh, with spray cans and uh, although it might not be as good as uh, airbrushing uh, it's, I still achieve a very decent paint job so uh, points to note about uh, uh, acrylic paint is that you cannot paint it over with enamel or lacquer based paint because it will dissolve the paint itself and uh, um, what I think is that you should learn about the different type of paint you're using and how they react to each other so to prevent uh, any of this mistake you see okay. so uh, with enough uh, experimenting and practice right even without airbrush right, you still can do uh, get a very decent paint job uh, so um, I guess I'll be looking forward to all to see your works in the future and uh, this is Toymaker signing off okay well that's it for another episode and oh, if you happen to be in Singapore at the end of this month, don't forget to come by C3AFA to check out their Kotobukiya booth. There's lots to do and guests to meet. And of course, I'll be there to host some activities. So please say hi when you see me. I can't wait to meet all of you guys and have loads of fun. See you guys there! <laughs>